All right, we're going to be looking at our work and energy lab here today. And let's just take a look at the apparatus. Uh, what we have here is called a pile driver. There's this moving piece that has a mass attached. And we can lift this up. You can see that there's a nail here wedged between two plates. And you're just going to have your lab partner uh, put their hand here and, no, 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 don't do that. Uh, we, we're going to be, we are going to be lifting up this mass here and we're going to release it at some point. It's going to fall down uh, and strike this nail and hammer it um, part way down through these plates. It's, it's wedged in there between the plates. Um, they've got some friction on it. And so our, the idea today, the, the types of energy that we're going to be studying is we say that when we lift this up, we have what's called potential energy or, um, or in other words, energy that's stored. And we, can, uh, we know that there's some stored energy when we lift this object up because there's a mechanism to, well, re release the object and uh, the stored energy, as it begins to fall down, the stored energy uh, is converted. It's transferred to kinetic energy, energy of motion. As this object moves further and further down, it loses its stored energy and it gains more and more energy of motion. Finally, when, the, when this pile driver strikes the nail here, uh, we say that it does, we, it does work on the nail because it's going to be applying a force to it as it drives the nail um, downward th uh, through the two plates that it's wedged between. And so today we're going to try to investigate what, uh, what factors does the amount of stored energy depend on. And actually, if you look at the data table, well, there's some hints there for you. Um, because what we're going to be investigating, the, the two factors we're going to investigate are how does height, the height that I lift this object and release it from, uh, or how far it falls, how does that affect how much energy is stored? And also, how about the, the, the mass that I add here to the pile driver? If I add more or less mass, does that affect how much energy is stored? And so we're going we're gonna to split it up into two experiments here. And so in our first experiment, um, this is our data table on page 27, and in our first experiment, we're going to be varying uh, the initial height, the height that we release the pile driver from, and we're going to be measuring the distance the rod moves. In the second part of the experiment, we're going to keep the distance that the, that the driver falls, we're going to keep that constant the whole way through, um, and we're going to be varying how much mass is added. And so a couple things about this. Number, um, number one, we want to calibrate the machine when we first get started. We want to do this once and um, we don't want to adjust these wing nuts whoops, uh, after the initial time. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to use the 500 gram mass because that's the most mass we're going to use. And we're going to use 20 centimeters. Here's 20 centimeters. I've got a marker up there, the clip. It's located up here at 20 centimeters. And so that's going to be the largest uh, height that we drop it from. And we're going to start off there. This is not one of our data points. We're just calibrating our machine here. We're going to release it. And actually, I might need a little bit more tightness. It, we, we want this nail to go pretty far down when we use this mass and that height. Um, but we don't want it to touch. If it touches here, then we're losing accuracy in our data um, because we don't know how far it would have, would have driven the nail if it hits the floor. So actually, I'm going to make it just a little bit tighter. And here's a little hint here. We can grab this flat weight, this mass here, and that'll help us lift it up, um, that nail, to the same height every time. And actually, I am just going to tighten these just a little bit here. And when I tighten those, the two plates are pushed together more tightly. And so we've got a larger friction force that, that um, this driver has to work against here to get that nail through. So let's try it one more time. And that looks pretty good. If we can see this down here, um, the edge of the nail, it's more than halfway down, um, but it doesn't hit, the, doesn't hit the bottom, which we, we don't want it to hit the bottom. Again, once we've got that set, we're not going to be adjusting these wing nuts for the rest of the experiment. Otherwise, that'll throw off our data quite a bit. All right, and so I'm just going to lift that up. And let's take a look again at our first two uh, our, our experiments here. And the first one, um, so we're gonna, you're going to vary the height, and we're going to, um, so from four centimeters up to 20 centimeters. In other words, 
um, we're going to take our centimeters here and our first one is we can yeah, I guess let's just go down to I'll tell you what, let's let's do 12 that's one that'll be one of our measurements um, and this will be a little bit easier to see for us so we're going to start at 12 centimeters um, so I think we can see that if that's 12 centimeters if I now lift this up so it's touching that clip then this space here should also be 12 centimeters and we're going to release it and now what we want to get here we released it from 12 centimeters above but we're going to find the total distance that the driver fell which isn't 12 if we take a look here um, actually I guess I got a data point for us um, this is about 14.8 centimeters so although we released it from 12 centimeters um, the driver fell 14.8 centimeters. In other words, on our first trial here, the, the nail itself was driven down 2.8 centimeters. And so you can see that we are going to do three trials for each height. We ran into that last week, that, that um, doing something like that can increase the precision of our data. <clears throat> All right, so that's the first experiment, the part of the experiment, and that will help us to determine the, the effect of uh, height on how much energy is stored. Because ultimately, all the energy that's stored as I left this up, uh, it first gets turned into kinetic energy, energy of motion as it falls, it moves faster and faster. And then all that energy is used to do work on the nail. And that work that is done on the nail is proportional to how far the nail is gonna move there. All right. So in our second part of the experiment, this is a little bit tricky here because we want to maintain the same driver fall distance of 20 centimeters the whole time. That doesn't mean we're going to be releasing it from 20 centimeters above. What we want here is we, it's going to take a little bit of trial and error, but we're going to need to, let's see here, I'm going to go up to about, let's see what happens when I go to 18 centimeters here. So it's, I'm, I'm releasing it from 18 centimeters now above the nail. and now when I come back here, now what I'm doing is I'm measuring the driver fall distance. And actually that says 21.5. And so what I would want to do, it fell too far. So I just, it's okay. We're just going to repeat the experiment. But I'm going to go down to, um, let's try, uh, let's try, the, let's see, about 16.8, 16.8 centimeters. Let's see what happens here in my experiment. So we've got that, and now I take a, a look again how far, and that's at about 19.8 centimeters. So I'm pretty close. We might want to adjust, adjust one more time in order to make the total fall distance 20 centimeters. And so <clears throat> um, that's what we're going to be trying to do in this last part, is figure out what initial height gives me the total uh, 20 centimeters. So in this example I just did, I have the 500 grams added here. My initial height was, well, let's say it's about 17 centimeters here. And the distance the rod moves is an additional three. And so the total distance that the driver fell there is 20 centimeters. Uh, and so that is about it as far as the equipment goes here. And uh, so we'll have a couple of graphs and some questions that we'll get to later.